Hi guys, it's Nikki with Sweet Bee Farms. I hope you're all having a great day. Today I'm going to walk you through how to install a package of bees. This is a package, um, and this is typically how they come to you. It's 10,000 bees, or about 10,000 bees, or three pounds. Um, the, you'll have various types of bees in here. You'll have workers, you may have a few drones, um, you'll have some nurse bees, and you're gonna have one queen bee in this package. Um, I'm gonna get my um, the rest of my protective equipment on, and we're gonna get started. Okay guys, now we can get started. A couple things that I've done in preparation for putting these ladies in is I have removed about four frames um, from the hive to give them a little bit of space and I have misted or lightly misted all the frames with our one-to-one -one sugar syrup. That will help the bees take to the hive um, a little bit better and I have put an entrance reducer on the front. You want to have a really inviting dark space for the bees. Um, and you don't want them to have a lot of space that they have to guard initially. So your new packages are considered to be a weaker colony just because they don't have a high number. So we're going to, um, if you'll notice here, the bees have clustered um, around, there is a feeder can inside and they've clustered around that. So we need to get the, this can out um, and get them away from that feeder can to do that. So what I'm gonna do is, I have the one-to-one -one sugar syrup here and I'm just going to lightly spray them and this will coat the bees so they aren't able to fly as well when we first put them in and that's not harmful to them at all. Um, they will clean that off of each other. It's kind of like an extra little snack. So now I'm going to take the bees and I'm going to shake them down into the bottom, give them a little shake and I'm going to spray them a little bit more. The spray, and I'm gonna give them one more shake down to the bottom. Now you're gonna need your hive tool for this. So here on the top, we're gonna have to pry this piece of wood off to expose our feeder can. And these are typically stapled on or nailed on with a really small nail. Sometimes when you lift this, you'll have some bees. Um, I do not right now. So I'm gonna keep this handy because we're gonna need it here in a second. So you notice I have a little flap here. This is where your queen cage is. So when we go to take this can out, you wanna make sure that you have a hold of this. Use your hive tool. Here. So we're going to lift our can up. Sometimes you got to work these a little bit. And pull our queen out. I'm just going to use this here to cover them back up. We don't want the rest of them out yet. We're going to get a, some bees come out. That's okay. I'm gonna just sit the feeder can to the side here. I will use the rest of that and give it back to the bees. And I'm gonna show you really quickly what the queen cage looks like. So I don't get any of these guys. So this is your queen cage. Got one marked queen in here. These bees on the outside are nurse bees. So they are tending to her, they will feed her and um, even groom her. Um, and one of the things you wanna look for, whether or not your bees have started to accept this queen, is if you can move the bees away easily with your finger, that's a sign that they have started to accept this queen. Now, um, you'll notice, it's hard to see here, but on the end you have a cork. You have a cork on both ends of that. But right here on this top portion, this white substance here is um, candy. So what we wanna do is we wanna remove the cork from the side we have the candy on 
and the bees will um, enter into there they will eat through this candy and release the queen so they are not um, I wish I could get a better shot of this they are not being aggressive with her I can see bees trying to feed her she's coming up to the bees she doesn't look afraid so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this cork so that way um, she can be released So you can use pretty much anything to do this. A pocket knife works well. I don't have one with me today. So I'm just gonna take just a pair of scissors I have in my little hive kit. I'm gonna remove this cork. I'm gonna place her in the hive. I'm gonna sit her here. I'm just gonna move these ladies here for a second. And on the middle frame, I've placed all right, I've pre-placed two rubber bands. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the queen cage against this frame between these rubber bands. I'm going to put her in here to where they have easy access to get to that candy plug. So she's snug there on the side of the frame. I'm gonna put her back in. So when we get ready to dump the rest of our bees in. Uh, she'll already be in there and they will, um, they're likely at this point already familiar with her and her pheromone. So now we're gonna put our bees in, give them one more tap. And then I'm just going to dump them in. You're not gonna get all of these out. So once you get the majority out though, you just wanna sit this here at the entrance and they will make their way back in to the hive. And you may notice a couple of dead bees at the bottom. That's perfectly normal. These bees are all different in various stages of their life cycle. Um, so now I'm going to just put our frames back in gently. Try not to squish anybody on the way. Now, um, I'm gonna let them all make their way back in, but before I button them all up, I'm going to put on a couple pollen patties and a feeder for them. The pollen patty is just a pollen substitute. Again, they, these bees um, came with essentially no resources. They're starting from scratch in their hive. So you do wanna supplement feeding them in the beginning. take my 
inner cover here. Put this on gently. Squish anybody. Now, this inner cover here has a notch that uh, is there for ventilation. I'm going to close that off. I want them to have the least amount of space to guard in their new hive until they increase in numbers. And it's not extremely hot in Ohio. Currently, we're at the end of April. So once I have the inner cover on, I am gonna put a Boardman feeder on. The Boardman feeders are designed to be a front feeder. I don't like to use them like that, so I will put them um, just on top of the inner cover. And this is a one-to-one -one sugar syrup. And then on top of that, I'm gonna place just an empty uh, deep box to cover up that feeder. So we don't have any robbing. Just push them out of the way. So we don't get squished. Okay, and after that, we're gonna put our, our outer cover on. And we're gonna let the rest of these ladies make their way into the hive. We will monitor them for the next little bit to make sure that they all get in here. All right guys, that's how you install a package of bees. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day.